Hey up, Johnny here, and on this Mantic Monday, we're going to be learning how to build some of the vehicles for Firefight. Starting with the Forge Father's Sternhammer, we'll show you how to build the four different variants, including the Drakkar APC transport vehicle. And all pieces laid out here, so let's begin. Starting with the main sort of chassis, you can call it, we take Two side pieces and you have two sets of tracks. What I found easiest is if you work out which is the front, which is that way, you'll notice it's a little slot in there. A lot of these vehicles nicely dry fit first so you can test exactly what it is you need to be doing. So you'll see these little notches in the tyres. They fit in there like that, and then this goes over the top. So we'll just pop a bit of glue on there. So the tires go on there. This then slides over the top like so. And then we just repeat the process on the other side. Now I've been through and I've removed any bits of flash, bits of mould lines that I can spot before we started this video, but obviously you can do that as you go along as well. Now we've got the sides done, I'm going to move on and do the front. So we need this piece and these two pieces. This piece fits in these little grooves here like so, and then these pieces slide in over the top a bit like that. You can see there's little grooves down here for this to fit into. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but slots in like that and then as I say you've got these two little ridges here and probably just a dab of glue down here for these to fit onto. What I'll probably do is just put a little dab there and a dab there as well just to hold that in place while it dries and then the same on the other side Dab that, dab that. Now, as I've said earlier, you can build the transport variant or uh, any of the turreted Sternhammer tanks. And I'm going to show you a neat little trick that you can uh, use to create both from the one same kit. So this is the roof of the transport, and you'll need. One of these back pieces, just remember which one it is, so we'll just dry fit this on here for a second. I think it's this larger door, isn't it? Yep, so it's the larger back compartment for the transport, which I guess makes sense because you've got more people in it. All those forge fathers have got to get out of a door somewhere. So, you want these two pieces, and you want, again, you just need to double check it's the right ones. Yep, yeah, these larger of the two that you'll see, as these corner pieces, you want the larger of the two for the Drakkar. Because these then fit in there like so. Now you notice I'm doing this all off of the tank and all will be revealed why in a second. So we just hold that in place with my finger like that while I just get this in place. This one here, sorry. Goes on there like so. Try and get it nicely flush. And then the same on the other side. 
Again, they've got a little notch that just fits nicely on the end there. Squeeze that into place. Now, if you get this piece, this is trickier because it should be glued down to this main tank, but with a bit of jiggery pokery, this piece here, it's like the, uh, the window, the top cab for the uh, top of the Drakkar, you know, this sits on here like that, and then these both go on there like so, and I'm going to glue these direct to this top compartment. Say a little bit tricky. You can, if you are only wanting to make build the Drakkar out of this kit, and you've got no interest in in using it for the stern hammer, then you can glue this straight to the actual tank. But I'm a thrifty Yorkshireman, and if I can get more than one model out of one kit, then I will do. So once this is dry. It will clip nicely into here, like so, with no glue. And there you have, just bend that down, your Drakkar. And as I say, beauty of not gluing that down, you can take that off. And once we've built the stern hammer, the, stern ha the uh, gun turret piece will go on top instead. So, let's have a look at the next piece. Put that to one side for a second. Ooh. Drag our bits, come off, look. There we go. Okay, so we want these two pieces and these two little triangles that I had earlier. And there we go. So, very similar principle, front and back, together like so. And then again, your corner pieces, just got to remember how these ones go on. So again, a bit of a dry fit, they go in there like so. Now the slot for these ones is on this side, so if you are building just the stern hammer, then it's obviously a lot easier to glue that in place there like that. But I'm going to glue it in place on here. So if you line these lines here up with the lines on the back, you'll notice that this piece here just slides over the top of there. So that goes like that. Again, once that's dry, you can then test fit it over the top. Okay, so now we have the stern hammer back section on, ready for the turrets. Before we do that, I'm just going to finish off the front side with putting the optional ram on the uh, on the front. See so on the ram, you want these two little pieces that come in the smaller bag. These clip on the front of the blade like so. Small blob of glue there, making sure you've got the, the rivets, the detailed side that faces inwards. Same on this side. And then these two pieces that stick out fit directly onto these blades here. So again, a small bit of glue. And what I found easiest is if I hold it like this, have the tank 
on the, the uh, on the table so I know the level and then slide it on like so making sure that it's central you can line this up with this line here and then by keeping it on the table like that you're making sure that the dozer blade isn't too low or too high set that aside for a moment while we work on the turrets okay so the first uh, turret or first first little weapon we're going to do is the gun on the dracar because i missed that there's a tiny little piece that just blobs in there and then just sits in that hole like so you can angle it whichever angle you might want if you put it off off center slightly less symmetry there we go right so we're going to look at doing the heavy magma cannon it's a really simple one four pieces all together uh, sorry six pieces all together two main bits and then these little bits on the end so blob of glue I just go for some of the main corners and main straights doesn't need to be on every little bit the whole way around you see it's got these little plugs that line up and then that all clips in like so and then you see these two holes here again pop of glue and then you've got these end pieces you'll notice it's not a full circle it's just have a piece missing and that's so you can line them up like that without them spinning there we go and then you've got these that slot this side the larger side you see there onto the end there it's all fairly straightforward, everything has lugs or plugs to fit them in a certain place, so it's almost a bit like putting a jigsaw together. There we go, that's the heavy magma cannon done, you know, that then sits, and I line the hole up quite nicely in place there. It is a little top heavy, so it does fall if you don't glue it. The other option is you could always put a magnet in here and then, because that's a hole all the way down, maybe put like a, a spare base or something underneath that hole and a magnet inside there. And you can, then you could do that with all the turrets and then you can swap the turrets out. I'll show you an example. The stern hammer I've currently been working on I gave it a big silly turret and I have magnetized that in the same manner because as I say very top heavy that's going to fall over if there's no no magnet offering some sort of resistance but that does then mean you can swap out the turrets and get as much value for your money out of these tanks so let's go and do the heavy hailstorm cannons you're going to, oops, wrong, you're going to need one two three four five six pieces again starting with the two main sections of the turret they again clip in with those little lugs and then this piece slots in there like so small bit of glue on either edge like that now this piece, again, you see two little lugs, two little holes, and it's not fully circular, so you can see it goes this way around. The piece there facing forward. What I find is if you put it in slightly off center and then slide it along, it will find those two holes. And then just press it down and then we've got the two sections of the actual gun barrels firstly glue those two together so the holes on that side they go in like so and then 
these go this way. So the long, longer barrel to the top, shorter barrel to the bottom, like that. And that is that one done. And then finally, we have the Dragon's Breath Flamer. So, again, you notice, repeat myself, nice and simple, two sections go together. In fact, this piece wants to go in this little lug first, so then that goes over the top and holds that in place, like so, and then again, two little holes there, line up with these two, and then the oval, uh, sorry, the semicircle there goes over there like so, and there we have it, that's your dragon breath. So. From one kit, we can get not one, not two, but three different variants of the stern hammer. And then, if we're clever, as I say, with our gluing, you can then take that off, replace it with this one, and there we go, you've also got your Drakkar APC transport for all your Forge Fathers to travel on the merry ways. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that was really helpful. See you again soon.